Now, Storm Tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. We got snow falling right now in East Idaho, not too far from Island Park. Look at that, all that white. The last day of spring and it's snowing. Wait a minute, should be the last day of winter for that to happen. And of course, the green indicates the rain. Not expecting any snow in places like St. Anthony and Rexburg, but the farther north you go, especially as you cross over into Montana, could see a few inches of white on the ground. And we're actually seeing a rain snow mix as far south as just north of Tetonia along the Fremont Teton County line. And look at all that snow falling over the northern end of the Big Hole Mountains. Winter, wait a minute, it's just, it's wrong, right? <laughs> just zoom out a little, a wider shot of what's taking place. Not much for the rest of us, we're dry and that's the way it's gonna stay uh, for most of us overnight. But up north, north of Idle Falls, certainly a different story. We have an area of low pressure up in western Montana. That's dragging in colder air from Canada. So that's allowing also the moisture to work with and we get the snow in some of the higher elevations like we're getting now. Not expecting a lot of accumulation in Island Park, but you never know. I mean, yeah, for it to snow this late, late into the season was actually spring and not winter is pretty impressive. Temperature tracker showing it at 36 as the actual temperature at Island Park. That's cold enough for the snow, not necessarily cold enough for it to stick. 37 though in Driggs, a little warmer farther south, Afton at 41, and even warmer in Pocatello at 50 degrees. But these temperatures are good 10 to 15 degrees cooler than they were last night at this time. And overnight, we're looking at widespread temperatures in the 30s. Snake River Plain, for the most part, should stay above freezing, but you get outside the plain, look how cold it's gonna be tonight in Soda Springs. Almost a hard freeze. Montpelier, 29 degrees. 25 for Stanley. They had snow this afternoon. It was snowing like crazy over Lost Trail Pass just north of Salmon. Salmon will drop down in the 30s, colder than last night. Tomorrow's highs, not too much different than they were today. One nice thing, though, about tomorrow, the first day of summer, we won't have nearly the wind. We'll get a break of that from that. But we may not necessarily see a break from the showers. There's a chance of showers and thunderstorms for the highlands, western Wyoming, and also for the southeast corner. So just keep that in mind. Emoji tracker, teeth chattering in the morning because it's so cold, 36 degrees the afternoon. We're smiling, not frowning. Yeah, we have something to smile about. Won't be as windy tomorrow. Temperatures, though. Yeah, not as warm as we'd like, but it could be worse. Could be snowing in Pocatello, Idaho Falls tomorrow, and that won't be the case. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. First weekend of summer, a little better as we get farther along. Sunday, we're into the 70s, and we got 80s. They're coming back. It's going to take a few days. Next week, Tuesday, we'll see highs in the mid 80s. Idaho Falls, okay, 61. Partly sunny to start off the weekend. 70s by Sunday, that's better. And there's that warmth, 80s are back uh, next Wednesday and Thursday. A Rexburg seven day forecast. We'll see 80 and not until next Wednesday. And we'll try to warm up a little bit for this first weekend of the new season, Teton area. There's that chance of showers and thunderstorms to start off summer. And that will take us clear through Monday with highs finally reaching those 70s, but definitely sweater weather for the next couple of days. And for the central mountains, we could see showers and thunderstorms going into the weekend.